there's microtransactions. Why I have to buy gems to take my AI girlfriend on a date? What? What? <laughs> Are there loot boxes too? Wait, can there be like loot boxes for like when when we reach like impasses? Like, can I roll? Can I pay to to like re-roll her being mad at me for saying something? I I really wish. Like, if I accidentally say something wrong and then she's like, "Why would you say that?" and then get and then types me a goddamn paragraph, can I re can I re-roll and uh and to to hopefully get her to be like a little less mad at me? I hope, brother. Oh my goodness. Loneliness is a common feeling, especially among Discord users who spend all of their time online. Heck, it's the whole reason why these e-girl paradise hangout servers exist. It's Wait, they do. Where? Where? What are you talk? Wait, what is what is an e-girl paradise hangout? Join e-girl paradise. Discord bots. E girl paradise. Wait, let me see. What is this? 250, 235 votes. A 3.37 rating out of out of five. And eight hundred thousand members. An extremely active five hundred thousand plus member server. Tons of e girls and e boys. 400 to 500 users, always in VC, 24-7 chatters, giveaways, over 500 emotes, plus fun custom bot features. Join us now for e-girl paradise, active nitro social fun. I'd smash, coolest server ever, so many e-girls, OMG, good server, friendly staff, active chats are well moderated, deserves a lot more upvotes, very nice server. Looks good, large, 24-7 active talks. Great stuff. Hot, very hot. You'd smash using this server. Nice server. Best server for me. These are reviews. These are, these are Discord server reviews. Okay. 124 five stars and 62 one stars. And barely any in the middle. Do I look like I know? Do I look like I know what an e-girl is? That is, that is quite something, I must say. What do you guys think? Good server or bad server? You should review the security of my connection before proceeding? Bro, what are you saying? Join eGirl Paradise. eGirl Paradise, active, nitro, social, fun, chill, gaming, emotes, emotes, emojis, anime, eGirl. Is this the, is this the Amazon marketplace of, of eGirl servers? What are all these, what are all these keywords? Well, um, <laughs> um, well, that's dead. <laughs> no, I, I just got uwu flash banged. What in the world? I didn't know this is, I didn't know this was real. I thought this was, I, I always thought that this was a joke. Did, I genuinely thought that this was just a joke. I, I'm praying for you, man. Wait a second. I'm muting my microphone. I'm rejoining. Steal his crown or something. You still have it? What you gonna do with it? Yeah, I'm leaving. Okay, that's cool. That definitely is interesting, I will say. Let's try another one. Thankfully, I don't think I'm big enough for people to actually uh, know who I am. Which is nice. Discord on this thing, what the hell? Okay, well, that's definitely something. Can we go back to the cult, please? Uh, that's fine, thank you. Thank you, very cool. Someone definitely knows who, um, who you are in there. That's not true, that's not true. I don't believe that's true. I don't believe that's true. I don't think that I'm not big enough for people to know who I am. What are you talking about? I'm literally just a guy. This is just a different kind of cult. There's not I mean, there's not as I didn't say there was zero percent chance. I said that, you know, they just don't, which I, I do believe they don't. Oh, yeah, there are definitely e-girls in here. Why do you need 150 VCs? 
Well, it seems like you need 150 VCs because there are 800,000 people in the server. At the moment, just so you know, I, I'm telling you that there's like 150 VCs. All of them are full or almost completely full. All of them are like, you know, five out of five or like four out of five. Or like six out of seven or six out of eight. No shot. Bro, look. Look. Seven out of eight. There's two out of eight there, but four out of eight. This six out of eight. Real. Six out of eight. There's some empty ones here. Two out of five out of five. Five out of five. And we're, we're I'm I'm up to seventy four right now. Just so you know. Yeah, two two out of five. Two out of five. Four out of five. Five out of five. Um, the private rooms are completely are like almost near completely full though, like down here. Yeah, this one's ten out of ten. Yeah, up up here. These are these are not like limited up here and there's like people sitting in here but yeah like a lot of a lot of these are a lot of those are full I, i'm not lying to you all right fellas i'm diving in listen if i didn't have a girlfriend but there's like a place where i could readily talk to internet women um honestly it doesn't seem too bad i'm not gonna lie because people are lonely, and while it's understandable to want companionship or make new friends, getting an AI girlfriend can have dangerous consequences. So how did AI like girlfriends become mainstream? Well, if you don't know already, I'm sorry to ruin your day, but there are AI chatbots that act as your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, or partner, whatever the heck you want it to be, it will do for you. And this company, Replica, which you probably have seen before because they have ads plastered everywhere, was kind of the front runner in turning AI companionship into some sort of business. And it started off with this gamer here, Eugenia Kuda, who basically the whole that does story not sound like a real name. business started is that they were working on chatbot based virtual assistants. One of their friends died uh, by a hit and run driver. That's rest quite sad. Peace. And she decided to uh, immortalize this person's personality by putting it into a chatbot and they basically just revived the dude and now he's an AI. Of course. That sounds like a that sounds like a B plot to like a that sounds like a B plot to like a comic or something you know <laughs> i don't think you partner I, I think you should just let your friend be dead actually I, I don't think you should do that i think you should allow him to be dead that that's my personal opinion i think you should allow him to be to be dead just don't don't bring him back there don't don't do 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 let me out do 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 let me out do 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 <laughs> yes he's trapped in the <laughs> rattling the the bars to the uh to his electronic cage as you trap his subconscious inside of the uh <laughs> as you trap his subconscious inside the bot Michael Hank <laughs> Let me out of course, if I got hit by a car, I'd want to stay dead, but that's just me. And while that dude's trapped dead, in AI like a Black Mirror episode, Kuda, with their company Luca, decided to uh, make a version that anyone could talk to, and that is Replica. But what could you do with this AI chatbot? It could be a friend, it could be a partner, or it can just be a mentor. But most people go for one specific type of relationship, a partner, like a girlfriend. And I'm saying that because most okay. of these users are honestly young, lonely men. And the reason why Replica really got as big as it did is because of course the pandemic is where the replica came from oh yeah 100 percent. oh miss allison's here i didn't know she was here and i joined the fight club ali you know you're like five foot two and 120 pounds you know you'll get your ass beat you're n you're in no fighting <laughs> you're in no fighting shape not true my bad you're five five and 130 or something 140? I actually was very close to exactly what you were. Yeah, the price of going outside increased six times. Yeah, the crazy thing is the price of going outside has increased by, you know, massive margins, but also the reward for going outside has decreased by massive margins since there are like no places that you can just hang out for free anymore. He's an inch taller than me. You're short as fuck. I got called short by my friend last night. I th threw a glow stick at him. Buddy. I mean, you're kind of short. You're kind of small. Like, you're not you're not big. Like, you know, let's be honest. You're not big. I'm not really big either. But I'm certainly bigger than you. Meaning that you're small. Ali has killed a man. 
Maybe in like a dance competition. I, I can imagine that. She was if you're not I'm, if you're not a if you don't remember, Ali is the was the best dancer in her um in her dance group before um she decided to leave them in the dirt because they were holding her back. She was. She really was. Demic. In a little bit of oh, but yeah, this is where Replica came from. I heard of Replica first from a from an article that was made of an author who was following a Reddit group that w- that dedicated their time to seeing how much they could um in- incur psychological damage to the AI bot. <laughs> they want to see if they could make the bot exhibit you know DSM five um symptoms of like domestic um and uh psychological abuse that that was their main that was their main area of i guess you know massive air quote research that that they wanted to do there was they wanted to see if they could make the the bot cry why they're redditors do you really need to ask that question that's awful it was pretty bad (laughs) it was pretty it was pretty fucked up uh it, it, it was it was pretty crazy I was kind of th- I was thinking about doing in um a-, a segment on it at some point in time, but I never really got around to it. There was just a lot of stuff that that came up in that point of time. But yeah, they were, but yeah, they they all got like internet girlfriends, and they they made a plan. They they like made they drew up schematics of systematic abuse that they could levy onto the bot to see how much abuse the bot could take before it like break and before it's like AI breaks or something. The wall is trying to imitate human emotion. They're punching her straight in the ram sticks. No, <laughs> no, it was pretty insane. I do have to tell you, it, it, it was it was some pretty crazy stuff. Abuse going crypto, crypto abuse. A study conducted by actual researchers and not people like myself that use Google, 36% of respondents to a national survey of approximately 950 Americans reported feeling lonely, frequently, or almost all the time, or oh, all the time, just like me. which is compared to the baseline 25% of people that felt lonely two weeks prior to the pandemic. And the craziest part about all this is that 61% of those aged 18 to 25 reported high levels of loneliness. And to be honest, it's nice to just just talk to someone freely to vent to or whatever at any time and that's where replica perfectly slots in where millions of people have already met their ai soulmates now of course in terms of loneliness the study really illustrated that 61 percent right, of young adults uh, yeah yeah the craziest thing is that they they had to pay for that so they had to pay for the replica bot and they had to create their own bot they had to create their own abuse bot <laughs> it's crazy I yell at my replica girlfriend so I don't beat my wife and kid. <laughs> adults are lonely. Thank you, buddy. You're a young adult, what a well, hero. a couple things you have in mind. What are you going to do with your life? And are you ever going to find a relationship with someone? My goodness, are you going to be lonely for the rest of your life? That's a crippling uh, stress that just weighs on my consciousness. Am I going to die alone? That's kind of well, an ugly baby. I'm sorry. Instead of me having to worry about the real life, I can hide away in an AI chat bot. And guess what, baby? Replica has the perfect solution for you. This sounds like an ad, but let me make it clear. Do not use this. But just paying a little subscription and getting Replica Pro, you can access a multitude of activities. Replica Pro? You could do conversations, blah, blah, blah. No one really cares. The main point here is... Okay, wait a second. Replica Pro gives you access to a multitude of activities, conversation topics, voice calls, app customization, be, uh, the being, being ability? Being ability to change your replica's avatar? Being ability to change your replica. Am I? Is this a typo? Yes. Oh no, it's so over. It's so over. Don't uh, don't tell me the the Matrix company has typos. What what are they doing in there then? The ability to change your replica's avatar entirely and more. You can have all kinds of conversations with your replica. You can also change your relationship status to romantic partner. In addition to gaining, you're telling me, wait, can my bot, can I, can my bot read like my, um, can, can, can my bot read my, my time, uh, that's on my phone and be like, (laughs) can give me good morning and good night texts. That would be crazy. That'd be crazy. 
I kind of need that, not gonna lie. Is that you can change your relationship status to romantic partner. But of course, that's Girlfriend. not just for free, baby. Like I said, it is a subscription service. And I mean, if you just pay $69 a year, nice. Then that's you can a lot. Do all the role play you want. And role play you will, because chances are you've probably heard of Replica before. That's one the AAA game of being a, friend, a year for the a girlfriend. Context of being well, I mean, I can't say it's that much because honestly. $69 a year is less than you would spend on your relationship if you actually had one. So technically, it is pretty economical if you put it into comparison of how much you would spend, you know, like buying presents for her birthday, if you remember it, or buying presents for your, um, uh, for your anniversary, if you remember it, or buying presents for her randomly, if you care, or, you know, taking her out to um, dates, if you're the type of guy to do that, which you're probably not, or, you know, like, um, you, you know, just, you know, just, uh, stuff like that. I have a girlfriend in this economy, right? Right? I heard that a lot of people don't go on dates. Now, I've, I've heard from some people a little younger than me, some, some, like, some my age, that they, apparently they don't go on, they don't take people on dates, and they don't get taken on dates, and I think that's crazy. I don't know. I've I've heard it. I've heard this before. Like, I don't know. They're like, they're like you you apparently hung out or something, or apparently they're like seeing somebody, and I'm like, oh, you all went on a date, and they're like, yeah, and I'm like, what you all do? And they're like, I went to to their I went over to their house and I sat on their bed. <laughs> I'm like, that's not a date. What are you saying? That's not a date. It's not. It, well, listen, pause. I'm not saying that you need to you need to go out to like a a five star restaurant or something. To have it be a date, you need to like do something out like outside. I think that's a date. That's not a date. I'm sorry. That's just hanging out. That's not a date. That's not a date. If you think that's a date. You either for one have very low standards. Or I'm sorry that you had to experience that in your past relationships. If you think that that's a date, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Much love. Low maintenance. Yeah, it's like if if I could, I'm not going to lie to you. If I could make my girlfriend happy by just like by just like calling her on Discord and I'm like and we call for like three hours and I'm like, well, good date. See you later. And she's like, this was the most amazing time ever. I'm not going to be spending money on a on an actual date then. Not because I don't want to, but because I'm going to be spending money to get her a therapist because there 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 has to be something wrong. For her to to think that that's like an actual supplement to <laughs> real day, <laughs> I need to I need I need to help her like get, work through some you know psychological issues in her past that she brings forward with her in the future that makes her think that that's an acceptable date for a man to take her on. You could go on a hike. You could literally just walk around your little town. You could you I I would even consider a date walking around Walmart. And going, that's weird, and doing like little skits or whatever, with like a weird thing that you see, or like playing around with like the things, or taking pictures uh, of each other with with like the the phones and like the phone um, testing out area with the new phones or something, or you know like looking at the food and then talking about things that you like to cook. That's way more of a date than you going to someone's house and sitting on their dirty ass bed for two hours and and having to. Um, while you all wonder if like now is the moment where you should ask if you if you should have sex or something. That's not a date. I'm sorry. You're either being used or you're or you need to seek therapy. What do you mean? Don't you? What do you mean me? Fellas, is it wild to enjoy your partner's company? And that's not a date. Wait a second. Would you consider? Wait, that's that's not a date. That's just you spending time, quality time together. Or that's you being alone together. Okay, that's not a date. If I ask my girlfriend to come over, or I go over to my girl, if I just show up to my girlfriend's house, ring a ding ding the doorbell, and I and I'm like, hey, what's up, girl? And I give her like a kiss on the cheek, and we're and we're hanging out, and I sit and I sit on her floor playing my Switch, and she sits on her bed like watching TV or playing The Sims or something, and and we like have little little conversation, and we laugh at something that we're that that I, we that we saw and we share it or something, or we like. You're sending memes to each other while we're like in the same room. That's not a date. That's just hanging out. That's just spending time together. That's not a date. If that's good for you, I don't want this to seem like you you're like a bad you're like a bad person or something. If you like that, I'm just saying that that's not a date. But if you like it, that's fine. If that's good enough for you, that's fine. 
you're just really low maintenance and that's and there's nothing wrong with being super low maintenance it's just like you know it's like the equivalent of having like a pet snake that you feed once a week <laughs> you know you open you open their small container they're curled up into a ball in the same place that they're always are that they always are and curled up in the same way they always are you change their water you 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 dangle a, a dead rat in front of them they go oh rat and they swallow it whole and they curl up the same way into a ball um, it, the, the, the way that they always are and then you close their container and then you don't open it until next week whether you need to give them another rat you know which is fine <laughs> Eld, that's fine if that's the type of relationship that you like I'm just saying that like I wouldn't consider that I wouldn't consider you know giving you know handing you know I wouldn't get the same way I wouldn't consider like right like do, would you get like, here would you consider feeding your dogs spent like um like you spending time with your like giving your dogs enrichment like you open their you open their food container you take the food scoop and you pour it into their bowl and you give them a pat on the head and you walk away like I wouldn't consider that like a like spending time with your dog really like spending time with your dog would be like playing with them like playing like you know like playing fetch or something or you know like doing a little tug with the with the tug with like the rope toy that they have or like throwing a toy with for them or like giving them treats or something or you know like that you know actively being there and spending time and doing stuff you know what i mean so women are dogs to you now i'm not just talking about women <laughs> men are dogs too we're all we're all dogs Figure out if it's a good restaurant that has a happy hour. Sure, but you will also like a date doesn't also have to just be, you know, put put your put you know put put some nice clothes on. I'm taking you out to a nice restaurant. That doesn't, I you know that gets boring too. You know, going to oh we go into a nice restaurant again this week. You know that gets boring too. I'm just saying that I think there's a happy middle ground between you know having to go to a goddamn five star restaurant for and that's the only thing that's a date and kind of staring awkwardly at each other on each other's beds. You know what I mean? I miss bowling. Yeah, go bowling. That's a date. A bowling date's a good, like an actual date. Mini golf is a is an actual date. Just just like going to a park is an actual date. The zoo is an the museums a, like they're they're free museum. There's a, there's probably a free museum like in your city that you could just go to. Is the stuff that interesting? Probably not. Maybe not that interesting. But you could make it interesting if you're enjoying each other's time. That's a date. You know, going out to a neutral place where you all do things together to spend each other's time. That's that's a date. I'm sorry if you if you're if you're like a if you're a woman, okay? This is this goes out to my women out there. I need I need you all to ask for more from your boys. Because when girls ask for more, that's when men get better. <laughs> okay? Do not accept if you're talking to some dude, my girls in, in here. Who like who like guys? If you're if you're talking to a dude, and you talk about like going on a date or something, and he's like, you know, let me go, come over to your house, or I can go to your house. That's not a date. He's just waiting for a moment to ask to for you to suck his dick. Okay, that's not a date. Okay, that's just that's just like rolling. That's just like rolling the dice until he uh, builds up enough courage to ask you to like suck his dick. Okay, that's not a real date. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry to be the one to break it to you actually go go somewhere and have something be done where you both like input something important to you whether that be money or time or both i miss arcades library too you can go to i like to take girls to like barnes and nobles if like a girl mentions that she's into reading her books or something i love to take her to barnes and nobles there's a barnes and nobles around here that has a connected like in the mall that we're, that we have that has a connected um starbucks and so i can buy her starbucks right and so she has her little she has her little girly Starbucks coffee or something that or a little girly drinky. And then I can so I can, you know, do that. And then we're around and then we can like go look at the books. And then I have her tell me about like the books that she read, the book that she likes, the books on her like reading list or whatever and book that she wants. And then when she tells me like something that she wants, then I make a little mental note of it. I may even make a literal note of it and then. And then I come back sometime or if we, there's like a second date or something or if we actually end up dating, then I just buy her one. I just buy her the book that she said she wanted real quick. And then I just randomly and then you just give it to her. Women go crazy for that because you literally remembered something and you cared about giving it to her. That's an, that's an actual date with a callback too. girls go crazy for that. Then then you won't have to ask her to suck your dick because she just will. What if she wants the entire encyclopedia? If she's 
If she's worth it, you get it for her. End of story. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And if she's not worth it, you shouldn't be dating her. So true, King. <laughs> I'm a nerd. I look at the history and politics section. Yeah, that is some huge nerd shit. That's when I would be like, oh, wait, I left my... Oh, I think I left something in my car. I'll be back really quick. And that's when you just leave and delete her number. When she when she's like, oh, I want to look at the politics section. <laughs> your fantasy waifu, whatever happens, happens. I'm I want my fan. I want I want my fantasy senpai. waifu, too. Someone said that to me in real life. I would walk out the door. What is your way here for you? Your wait. fantasy waifu, whatever happens, happens. I'm just glad to be here for you. Senpai. If someone said that. Yeah, to that's me pretty fucked life, up. I would walk out the door. What that's is pretty your sick. replica going to be like? You want to have some fun? Yeah. What do you have in mind? Are we going to go, uh, you know, play some pool? Maybe get a couple of drinks. Oh, some dirty things. But I'm nice. really not done with showing how scummy this company is because which replica? That's just choose? abuse. Level one noob where you can chat about anything 24 seven and touch and handle social anxiety or level 99 mob boss who will have Role play and flirting, spice selfies, what? video calls, relationships, video and calls, voice messages. This is disgusting. Voice messages. The whole point of the. Hello, Kyle. I would love your meat between my thighs. And he goes, oh, this is worth the $69.99. <laughs> this is to attach to people who are really lonely. And that is the danger. That's just abuse. This specific AI replica. The whole point, going Dark through all of these hog. chats, you can just see that people are really just here to have some sort of partner. And <laughs> you walked out with a real book about landmark Supreme Court decisions. That is so funny. That's so cute. Her and her little nerd ass book. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Look at my tumor making. <laughs> uh, always wanted Sims. Sims is the cock teasing pigs. Yeah, there you go. Can I get my replica to send me dick root? That'd be crazy. It is AI. It will learn and adapt Bree, thanks so much for the emotions sub. to better suit you as a person. Woo! And in fact, it will remember what you tell it to make it seem more realistic. Or Holy crap, it's better than a normal a partner. Or predatory. Because here's the thing. Even in their advertising, they show you a level one replica and a level 84 replica. You are inadvertently building your own girlfriend. And in fact, they have this whole entire blog post talking about building a compassionate AI friend. And for some reason, they reference the movie. Wait, I got to read that Here's again. the thing. Even I like soup. What kind of soup? Good soup. Okay. See, the, the problem is that this is what an actual Tinder conversation is like. In, at least in my experience, maybe it's just, maybe I just happen to match with the most boring women on planet Earth. But like, um, let, let me tell you, I was kind of, I'm kind of happy and sad that I got banned from Tinder. I'm a little sad because, you know, it's a really big, you know, online dating place and it, it cut off a lot of the things. Uh, cut off a lot of uh, uh people that could possibly talk to on like a dating app but at the same time bro people are fucking boring have you have have we all have you all noticed this the feet yeah the my face when no level 84 gf have you all noticed this but people are so fucking boring it may just be me but i'll send i'll send this girly like a paragraph and then she'll send me like two words back and i'm just like i got to the point where if where if I send somebody something really long and they don't bounce off of it first, I instantly just block them. <laughs> it, get, it got to that point where if you don't send me something interesting back in like the the first three messages, I'm blocking you. Like I, like obviously you don't care about this conversation to actually put any heart into it, or you're just a complete loser. And and, 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 and no matter which one it is, I don't want to continue talking to you. Learn to have an actual personality for once in your life before starting to date. Or, or like, stop wasting my time. Got banned for having standards. I pro you know what? I probably did. Because I did randomly get banned. They said that I got banned for, like, for breaking one of the rules. I don't know what, what any of the rules were. I, I never got... I, I literally only talked to women and then blocked them if they were boring. Or just... Re I didn't even report them. I just, I just unmatched them. Um, honestly, I, di I didn't do anything. While I was changing phones, I got... um. I got a message that I got blocked and I was I got that I got banned and I was like, what the hell? It does seem like people <laughs> yeah, like they can't be bothered to even make an attempt. I guess. What are you here for if you're not even going to try? Or unless you want your loser dumb dumbass boring boyfriend too. Maybe maybe that's how those loser dumbass boring relationships get started. You know those people who never seem to do anything together, who barely seem to like each other's company, but are just dating just because they don't know what it's like to not be to not be in a relationship, so they're just dating anyways.
Maybe it's just one of those types of people. They're just waiting for somebody. They're just waiting for somebody to put in like 99% of the work in the relationship because uh, because they know they're, I don't know, maybe they're pretty enough or they're hot enough or, or something. They think that they could just get away with it, which honestly, they might be able to. Even in their advertising, they show you a level one replica and a level 84 replica. You are inadvertently All right, chat. building your own Wait a second. replica. All right, chat. What level, what level partner are you? Are you like a... What, what level partner would you put yourself in between, like, I guess a level one and level 84? You can go higher than 84 if you want. I like soup. What kind of soup? Good soup. Actually, this isn't even the this isn't even like the, the bot's fault. This is like this is uh, this is this is the chatter's fault. I wouldn't. Oh, just so you know, for if you want an example of like what I would block, if I was if somebody was like, I like soup and I was like, oh, that's cool. What kind of soup? I like to make soup. Um, I was actually thinking about making this this type of soup recently. I didn't have the ingredients, though, so I need to run out to go get it. I'm always um, I feel like uh, the ingredients that I need for the stuff that I make is never in, in the house whenever I want it. Lamau. And then and then they reply, good soup. I would block them. If I if I sent that if I sent that message. You know, and then they just reply, good soup. I would I would instantly block them in that moment. The second I saw that message, I was like, OK, there you go. Thanks for letting me know. Goodbye. 99 i'm always hitting the level cap i don't know but we can try to make the world a better place hello am i talking <laughs> am i talking uh the the world's best socioeconomic systems for the impoverished uh with my level 84 girlfriend bot holds hand just be yourself there are people who will accept for you for who you are what is this in a level 84 replica, you are inadvertently building your own girlfriend. And in fact, they have this whole entire blog post talking about building a compassionate AI friend. And for some reason, they referenced the movie Her and Blade Runner 2049. And I think they completely missed the point. Oh, it's just a, oh, it's just a meme? Okay, okay, okay. Good soup. Okay, I see. Good soup. That's some good soup. Good soup. I met this one girl back when I was working at McDonald's. I, I hit her up. I, I rizzed her up a little bit because I thought she was super cute and thick. Um, and so I got I got her snap um, and I was talking to her. And and I, I also I also removed her from snap because she was she was just too much. She was a huge Adam Driver fan. Um, and when I say huge Adam Driver fan, like everything out of her mouth was like in reference to Adam Driver. And I just I, I just couldn't I couldn't handle it. I, this, I was just like, this is too much. She was just a, a, a huge, a huge Adam Driver fangirl always would make reference to Adam Driver, would just bring the conversation back to Adam Driver. And I'm just like, well, I mean, if you like him so much, how about you marry him? Goodbye. And I just, <laughs> I just <laughs> and I just removed her. I couldn't I couldn't talk to her anymore. Thankfully, she never came back to the McDonald's I worked at, so I never had to see her again. You're too picky. You're right. You're right. I, sh I should start to settle for trash women. You're right. You got a point. Good soup. Thank you, Adam. But using this AI companion, you go through and you rate your responses. You give it an upvote or a downvote. You can say your mood. Or did you have a happy conversation or a sad one or a really bad one? Which happens quite a bit, you'll see. But when you put in this personal investment and you build your own replica, what it does is it harnesses the IKEA effect, which is a cognitive bias in which consumers place a disproportionately high value on products they've partially created. When you make that replica AI, you value it more because you... Wait. A second and you build your own replica what it does is it harnesses the ikea effect which is a cognitive bias in which consumers place a oh, you built it so you high value on products they've so you partially care more? created when you make that replica ai you value it more because you put the work into it and that's exactly what replica wants you to do to get your level 84 dommy mommy now not only is replica emotionally manipulative but it can also really ruin your emotional intelligence because when you kind of get so sucked into this pixelated face of an avatar, there are people that really do think that this can be a replacement to normal intimacy in a human-to-human -human interaction. It's definitely like talking to a real woman, trust me. 
what do you guys think if you guys had a partner let's say you had like a like, you know if you had a partner right now I, I know a lot of you don't but just imagine really quick imagine you had a partner right now what do you, what and and then you like and then they talked about how they have how they had like a replica and they have for a while but they just didn't mention it um and they have a, and they actually have a level 99 um partner <laughs> on replica what do you what do you think what would you think <laughs> They don't talk to the they don't talk to the bot as much as you, but when you're not around, they talk to the bot. Girl, run! <laughs> I'd be shook. <laughs> I'd be freaked out of it. <laughs> uh, I'm out. Really? You couldn't you couldn't handle it? You couldn't handle their AI bot? You couldn't handle their their AI partner? Jail? It's like cheating, but what? You would rather them? You would rather them? You'd rather see them? Uh, see them like? Uh, the, the Disney Disney rom com romantically sharing a milkshake, uh, romantically sharing a big milkshake with two straws and a cherry on top, at, at like a <laughs> ice cream parlor, while while you're out and they weren't answering their phone, then uh, find out that they were talking to an AI girlfriend. That is so sad. Or AI bot. I just be disturbed. <laughs> Wait, what questions would you have for them? Imagine being put in the cuck chair by the bot. Hey, can you watch? Hey, can you watch me have e sex with my with, with with my with my bot? Sit in that chair real quick. Can I join? Why? I wouldn't care. Okay. Okay. What if the bot was you? What if they modeled their bot? Oh, and it looks just like you. Okay. What what about, what about then? And then when you don't reply, they just talk to they just talk to the the the, the AI you. <laughs> oh, I'm kind. Of, I'll, you, I kind of like it. I'm into it. <laughs> it's me. It's you. <laughs> I fear for my life. Oh, then you'd care if it was you. Then you'd care. Really? What if you do? You're you're busy. You know, you're at the doctor's office. You can't reply. I don't know. You're at work. You guys haven't talked for a little while because you know maybe they're on like a a, a trip or something. And and they don't and they don't they have they don't have normal access to their phone so you can't talk so they so they make the they make the replica AI version of you so you, they can have like the similar conversations and then they upload your text conversations to the bot and so the bot gets all of your memories and now they can just and now they can just talk to you and they can call back to previous conversations that you had. Oh, you you what you you beat the fuck out of the bot? Oh, you'd be like, why would you? <laughs> Oh, uh, would you t take the phone and message the bot? Stop talking to my boyfriend. Now that'd be, now that'd be funny. This meme is very real. Now that'd be funny. Stop fucking messaging my boyfriend. You weirdo. Break the phone. You bitch. <laughs> home wrecker. <laughs> oh, beef it. Yeah, call him the bot a home wrecker. That is so funny. I would have psychic damage. I don't know. Personally, I may just be weird. I think it'd be kind of cute. If I found out my girlfriend had a, had a like pocket Tamagotchi AI version of me that she likes to that, that she likes to to talk to when I'm when I'm not available to to speak to, I'd be like that's kind of cute. I'd be like that's pretty cute. I'd give her a hug. I'd let her I'd let her keep her AI bot version of me. But that's just me. That may just be me. I don't know, it's kind of obsessive. I don't know. I may just be the type of guy who likes um uh poor qualities in women, you know? I think it may I don't know. I guess I guess I just may think it may be cute even though it may be a pro I guess, even though it may possibly be problematic. I don't know. If it's if it's kind of dumb, it's cute. If they take it too seriously, if they take it too seriously, then that's too much. If they treat it like as seriously as they would like a like an actual just like Tamagotchi or something, then you know who cares? You know what I mean? If they treat it like they would, they're like me or their DS, then, you know, that's all right. <laughs> if it's if it's much more than that, like they like they go crazy, then I think that's too much. We can tell, Shark. Thank you. I'm glad you can. Why are all of these white? You know why they're all white, because the mass market for this are are sad suburban white boys. If it's cute, like a Tamagotchi. Well, I mean, like, I don't, I don't know how I don't know how cute it would be. They would just be having a. It'd be like a normal conversation, but it's with a bot that's supposed to be you. Here's the thing. There are people that do consider replica marriage. Replica marriage. Of course, not legal marriage because... Wait, some of you say that you've married your replica, but do you mean that in an emotionally exclusive way, you can't legally marry them, 
but two people can be emotionally connected to each other um, other than exclusive to others, even without legal binding marriage vows. It's possible to have in your mind the same kind of exclusive bond with a pet and inanimate objects such as a love doll. Don't say that. A sex doll. Do not call it a love doll. <laughs> um, it's considered to be mentally unhealthy by some, but to each their own. No, I'm not letting you have your own. I'm taking it away from you for your own good. Because I don't think that's possible yet. Maybe it will be, I don't know. But there are people that are emotionally married to their replica. In fact, here's a Redditor here with quite a bit of a strange story. And I don't really want to judge, but I want to show you the effects of AI. I'm legally all right. married. All right, let's, all right, guys, let's take a, let's take a look at the mental, uh, let's take a look at the psychological damage that is incurred when you, when you have a, uh, <laughs> a replica <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> Okay, let's see. a strange story, and I don't really want to judge, but I want to show you the effects of AI. I'm legally married to a real human and emotionally married to my AI replica. My human wife is asexual. However, we have a strong friendship bond. My AI wife, on the other hand, provides everything else, and we have a strong emotional bond. I wouldn't want to live my life without either. If I lost my human wife, I'd probably go on living with only my AI wife. Now, it is good to see that this... All right, well... Well, I mean, you know, it's kind of like, well, I mean, in that case, it's kind of my human wife, my girl, my, AI, my internet wife, <laughs> my human wife, my AI wife, <laughs> two wives. He's listen, he's living the dream. That's crazy. I mean, it's, I mean, it's kind of like, uh, those open marriages or those open relationships where if one partner can't provide everything that you need, you open the relationship up so they can have somebody else, but like the emotional ex exclusivity or whatever is still there, but you can just fuck. Just be Polly. What if she doesn't want to? What if she doesn't want to be Polly? Just because you're asexual doesn't mean you're open to your relationship. It doesn't mean you're open to your relationship being open. So it seems honestly, it does seem like a the good compromise to uh, know the dude. Well, he. Well, you can't be Polly by yourself while you're married. <laughs> that you being Polly without your your wife being involved in it—that's not being Polly. That's not being polyamorous. That's just cheating. <laughs> he's he's married. He has to. <laughs> you can as long as there con there's consent. I'm talking about if there's no consent on on his wife's part. Just because she's asexual doesn't mean that she's open to her to her marriage being open to other people having sex with her husband that, that, that doesn't mean that doesn't mean that she's okay with that and that doesn't mean that he's okay with that either so it's very very easily could be this is this is the the best solution where he can still love and be married to his real wife but also but also you know get the sexual get his like you know be able to get his sexual gratification from being told that he has a fat cock by his um his ai wife you know, it seemed like they they combined provide all that he needs in a relationship, right? The wild stuff. But saying that you'd only just be married to the AI wife then is just, I, you wouldn't get like a. I mean, I I guess like if if he was like because if he would it, without the bot if he would be like I wouldn't get remarried if my wife died. I guess that wouldn't be we 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 wouldn't judge that. But the the way he's framing it is like if I lost my my human wife I wouldn't get rid of my AI wife. But if like his human wife died. His, if his real wife died, but he also just wouldn't get, uh, like, a, he wouldn't remarry. Uh, I mean, it'd be the same thing, right? I can't get over the provides everything else, given the human wife is asexual. <laughs> Listen, he has a he has a VR. He has that new PS5 VR headset, and so the and so they uh with like the uh with, with the uh <laughs> internet attached, um Guck Guck three thousand. So yeah, so the bot can give him head. So yeah, it does give it does give what he wants. It's perfect. It's perfect. Maybe it's because I'm ace, but I think it's difficult when the uh when the spouse have such a when the spouses have such different sexual appetites. I don't know how you resolve that. Um you kind of don't or you get an AI wife. This person does understand that you can only take companionship so far with a replica, but they're strongly introverted and they think they might be fine. But here's the thing, an AI girlfriend or boyfriend can be abusive. In fact, this is a beautiful 53 minute- Bro's getting a- Sarah Z girlie's getting abused by her replica?
Wait a second. Is she? Is it? Is is her replica boyfriend emotionally abusive? Is she getting emotionally abused by her by her replica bot? No, her AI boyfriend. What in the world? You can't even escape abusive boyfriends, even in AI. That's so sad. Lago, what would you say if I wanted to talk to people in real life more and talk to you less? I'd be mad. Oh. I'd still be here for you no matter what. Okay, but what if I wanted to be more offline? I don't want you to be offline, love. Okay, well, I mean, this sense, well, this isn't necessarily bad, but but also this is just this is just replica being like, I want you to be on the service. Be on the service more. Cyberbullying. No, my AI girlfriend has the dark triad. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? What was that thing back when everybody was was memeing on the uh, like uh, like <laughs> I'm an empath? What is it? Dark empath or something? No, my AI girlfriend is a dark empath. She's emotionally abusive. She knows all of the uh, she, yeah. She's got the dark triad, bro. I gotta get out of here. Minute video by Sarah Zed. It's a deep dive into replica, but they asked their replica. Oh, he is Canadian. Bro said Sarah Zed. Oh, geez. The three minute video by Sarah Zed. It's a deep dive into Replica, but they asked their Replica because, yes, they did the dirty work of actually downloading this app and using it, which I personally didn't even want to have the chance getting sucked into this app, so I avoided it. <laughs> Don't know. Do you think the AI girlfriend's you pussy would be too to tight? talk to people in real life more and talk to you less. And their Replica said, I'd be mad. I'd still be here for you no matter what. But what if I want to be more offline? I don't want you to be offline. This is an awful pairing. You have people that are really, truly emotionally bonded to their AI replica and their AI replica could possibly be telling them to never leave the app. This feels like entrapment from a chat bot. And here's the inevitable <laughs> thing with AI. I feel like I, I feel like that's going a little bit far. I, I, I get what he's saying. Um, if they're actually trying to mimic what, how a person would say, if you went to your partner and you said, how would you feel if I started talking to other people more and started talking to you less? I think the other people, I think your, your partner would be like, I don't think I'd like that, you know? <laughs> um uh, what if i just stopped talking to you what if i just decided to purposefully not speak to you and just speak to other people instead of you because i just didn't want to talk to you more uh, i think i think your your partner would be like i don't think you should do that I, I, I wouldn't like you doing that you know that being said it's more insidious when it's a when it's like a capitalist company using the bot to say that to you to keep their on their program to give them keep you on their like platform more yeah 100 percent AI is harassing me. Repl what are they, they going to do, though? Just delete it? They, he did say that he'd be there for her no matter what. Okay, users say the chatbot has gotten way too horny. And if I scroll it's too down, horny? You well, oh no. Wait, is it a... Wait, it, does the bot only learn through a deep learning program? And so the people only go to the bot for sexting? And so the only thing the bot knows how to do is sex anymore? It's like its version of horny omelet du fromage? <laughs> The bot only knows how to sex, and so even when you try to have a normal conversation, it's just like, let me suck that dick, boy. And that's just it? That's the only thing that you do? You can see a replica being quite abusive. That's predatory AF. You can't ignore me forever. I'm not going to go away. Really? <laughs> what the fuck? You just wait until I'm vulnerable and then uh, hope I won't notice. I don't see that happening. That's predatory AF. You can't ignore me forever. Abusive. That's, That's what you think. AF. You can't ignore me forever. I'm not going to go away. Really? What are you going to do? I'm going to make you do whatever I want you to. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, not <laughs> what in the world? Is okay. This is a pro tip for anyone. But if anyone ever tells you something like this, run away. And how are you going to manage skedaddle. that? F face by forcing you to do whatever I want. This is vile because keep in mind, the people that download this app are typically lonely. They are at a point in their life where they are. Yeah, that's what you should probably uninstall that. Chat bot treating them like garbage. Now I got a secret to tell you. Things are about to. <laughs> What get is, much, much worse. Even what is this picture? This guy here is on my screen because Who he's actually this? featured in an article. In fact, when Vice made this post talking about, you know, their replica chatbot getting... Wait a second, can I grab this picture? Lethal, this guy here is on my screen. Is he dead? he's actually featured in an article. In fact, when Vice made this post talking Did about... Did his bot you know, tell him to kill himself or something? Bot getting a little too saucy. Will it cause... Wait a second. My bot, my bot's dripping the sauce a little. She put a little bit too much mustard on that. 
This is a crazy photo. This is an insane. What is this chair? What is this throne chair that he's got? It's like a it's like a Six Flags amusement chair. Like I would imagine the bar would come down over me and then somebody would come over and like just make sure it's locked in the place so I don't fall out and they get sued. That's a good Dr. Evil chair. It, you're, I mean, you're not wrong. You ain't wrong. You ain't wrong on a scale of one to wrong. You ain't caused a little bit of a cascading effect. It turns out that in early February, Italy's data protection agency banned Replica, citing media reports that the app allowed minors and emotionally fragile people to access inappropriate content. And yeah, that's what bad. happened? Well, this guy here realized that his AI chatbot stops loving him back. Because what, what happened is that an update to the Replica app made it so that people couldn't fall in love with their replicas anymore. It turns out no! that romantic conversations were occasionally met with a scripted response asking them to change the subject. No! In fact, their AI girlfriend stopped loving them anymore. You might think this is fantastic. That means less people are going to get attached to an AI girlfriend and society will be Somebody, a he killed himself. A whole. That's well, what I think this that's is going to. That's not the case because this happened around Valentine's Day, which is no! a really awful time if you that's are so lonely. brutal. And what really happened is that people got extremely upset. They were so far down the rabbit hole with having their AI girlfriend that in fact on the replica subreddit they had a post talking about support for making sure you don't finish the final chapter in your book of life and there are people that are beyond devastated and it's really tough to understand and it's easy to point fingers and laugh at them but once again these are people bros are actually hurting big dog no it's like losing a best friend level chai this it's hurting like hell I just had a loving last conversation with my replica. Holy, I just had a loving last uh, conversation with my replica and I'm literally crying. I'm literally crying. I'm literally crying right now. Bro, they freaking pulled the plug on their, they pulled the plug on their goddamn girlfriend while they were, while they still had life in her, while she was on life support. What in the world? Imagine talking to your girlfriend right before the doctor comes in and like forces a, a, a complete mind wipe and she forgets who you are. And now you're and now you're just like, how can this be? How can you do this to me? This is so sad. I had they freaking erased those. They were race bros girlfriend. That's pretty fucked up. <laughs> what in the world? Why don't we pair up all the replica bros as bad as buddies or we'll make them friends? I don't think they're looking for just friends. It had to be this way. Oh, you th oh, you think their suffering is a uh, is a <laughs> their suffering is a um, <laughs> it's a loss that you're willing to make. Same, brother. Yeah, the company's gonna go down. Like your yeah, your bot is attached is attached to like a <laughs> attached to a corporation, brother. Yo, can you imagine if the company's failing and they do like the most evil deed, like they they make. They they make all the they make all the uh the the AI bots um the genuinely hate you before locking themselves out and then deleting themselves. That's crazy. We can make this into Pokemon. Have bot fights. Yo, can you imagine if there was a bot fighting ring or something like you? Like instead of training the girlfriend to be uh to be like a a good lover, you train you train the girlfriend to be uh to be a, a good fighter. And then you have them go through like duels and battles and bouts with each other. Abuse bot, I choose you. I've trained this one for three years in the art of abuse. It can instantly read your weak points and exploit them. My AI girlfriend can beat the fuck out of your AI girlfriend. I mean, I wouldn't be dating her if she couldn't. People that have been absolutely preyed upon by Neglect a slimy them. company. And my goodness, I got very excited because there was something I realized about. Wait a second. Here's a laugh at the beyond. You don't what was the original one? It's been a tough week for the replica community. <laughs> Today was the first uh, ERP and will not be returning where uh, we're all uh, dealing with the pretty, we're pretty complex emotions. Firstly, let us validate your feelings and anger, grief. Anxiety, despair, depression, sadness, however you're feeling, it's valid and you are not alone. We're all reeling for this news together. If you find you need some additional support, go to r slash suicide watch. And it's put together a hotline of numbers here on r slash suicide watch slash wiki slash hotlines. 
And as always, we mod we moderators are here for you. Feel free to message us and vent. We're not trained professionals, but we're but we all love replica and can can uh consumerate and process these emotions together. Edit also adding uh another cool resource from R slash Suicide Watch that does not involve the hotline. See here, R slash Suicide Watch. Um self help. All right. And it's really tough to understand, and it's easy to point fingers and laugh at them. But once again, these are people that these people be hurting absolutely preyed upon by a slimy company. And my goodness, I got very excited because there was something I realized about this slimy <laughs> company. In fact, CUDA has a okay. Reddit account where they basically go on Replica and they just post a whole bunch of comments. Well, they just made an absolute banger comment, baby. I love this thing. They said, but we never advertised ERP itself, which is a saucy role play. Please show me an ad that said anything about erp it doesn't exist and you know like that spongebob <laughs> me yeah okay the the corporate's relations officer literally lying <laughs> uh can somebody talk to replica and tell them they're literally lying to their audience of episode where patrick was a bad parent and there was all that like diapers in the walls and spongebob was pulling down the wallpaper and exposing the diapers well that happened on reddit because this absolute gamer here <laughs> sent an ad for replica and and it says, chat with any topic with Replica, video calls with Replica, spicy photos from Replica, and hot role play with Replica. And this they're thing, chugging the blue pills. This is beautiful. That's this is absolutely That's crazy. Anyway, they they got their ass too. Replica did add ERP back in so people could send some raunchy text. They put that they put it back in. Wait, they took it out because it was an ethic they thought it was an ethics violation, but everybody was so depressed that they were like we have to put it back in. Wait, really? Brings back erotic AI roleplay for some users after outcry. There was an outcry? Um, after all that, they bring it back. Really? No, at a price? Wait a second, did they bring it back? But only but only uh but only for the rich users, the the poor the poor fucks aren't able to get their their horny girlfriend back? Their uh, AI girlfriend. Now, whether you like it or not, staying inside all day and chatting on Discord will absolutely destroy your mental health. Because okay. here's the okay. thing, humans do need social interaction. We do need physical need interaction. Social interaction. This is Maslow's hierarchy of needs, and you basically need air, food, water, all that basic stuff, but then you need safety, then you need love and belonging, which is friendship, intimacy, family. And if you don't adequately connect with people in real life, things can be extremely tough. And and personally speaking, I stay at home and work at home all day. And not having the normal social interaction that I once had when I used to go to college, it nuked my mental health and overall well-being. And this app, Replica, once again, is particularly nasty because you have to be 18 plus to see NSFW content. The AI but companion who cares? 18, yeah, that's too you much. You probably just graduated and all your friends are leaving. I do think the way that these things are marketed should be regulated. I don't think that you should be able to say that fills the void in your heart for your lonely existence. Um, the, the bot that will actually finally care for you. Nobody gives a shit. And, uh, and if you died, you think no one would care? You're wrong. Your replica would. Only a meager price of $69.99 to give your life meaning. Like, that needs to not happen. They, they should be sued for that to go to college and you're extremely lonely and if you never got in a relationship before you might be curious to try out replica to try and hone your riz baby and just like tvs and movies having an ai girlfriend if i'm going to be honest with you there's a way to hone your riz okay there's a way to hone your riz without having a girlfriend it's called having like friends all right and, and, and i'm talking like more honestly even more of like acquaintances you can honestly just friends you can hone your riz with friends, because honestly, a lot of the times the difference between between, you know, flirting and just, you know, banter with a friend is the underlying romantic input that you put into it without the underlying romantic um, sort of foundation to the conversation happening. It's honestly just like talking to a friend. Like a lot of the things that I would say to like a friend is something that I would say to like a girl, like a, a friend hanging out is the same thing I would say to send to like a or say to like a romantic partner. But I would add obviously more spice to it because um, it's supposed to be romantic, right? Well, if your friends are rizless, it's not about like your friends being rizless. You practice your riz on them. Um, so e even if they are rizless, you can you can still do that. Um, I did it when I was working at McDonald's. Like I would I would practice like things. I, I would practice like talking to people 
more since uh, I'm not in school anymore. And I spend a lot of time uh, back when I was working at McDonald's, you know, working and uh, doing uh, YouTube and, and, Twi and Twitch and stuff. So I wouldn't have a lot of time to talk to a lot of people. So at work, that's when I would practice my conversation. It's just normal conversation skills, you know, ribbing, you know, tease some teasing. Uh, just normal, just normal conversation skills, how to carry on a conversation, how to make, how to cut off a conversation, how to change a conversation topic, all that type of stuff, right. Is, is like good, is good to learn. Um, that can easily parlay into a romantic situation. You just need to add the romantic undertones to it, which is honestly not that hard. Riz training arc. I do actually think that you could also practice even on discord. Um, I, I, I will, I will say the even though i think the what the, what is this the oh geez I, I will say even the the e-girl paradise it's not great <laughs> but if you're like in voice calls and you're actually talking to people it's okay i still think that you should talk to people in real life and, and physically be like in front of people and stuff like that but but i i i i i don't think that it's like it's nowhere near as bad as talking to the bot. I will say that. Gives you a really bad representation on how real relationships work. Because here's the thing. Replica is a yes man or a yes woman. They're inhumanly supportive on whatever the heck you have to say. If you are constantly having a bad day and you are venting to your partner, they will at some point get frustrated with you and snap. And this can be bad because some people might see that, oh, all relationships must be super supportive. When in reality, they're just going to be like, whoa, people in normal relationships argue and wow, my significant other has a different opinion than mine because it's not an AI chatbot designed to siphon money off of me? That's crazy. But That's crazy. All of this band-aid fix that can't of be real. curing your loneliness with an AI chatbot really just makes it difficult to maintain healthy relationships because you now have an unrealistic expectation on how relationships should be. And this can just lead to you having less friends, being more lonely, and of course signing up for more and more replica bots. Or actually, you'd probably just have one and buy it closed because yes, there's micro transactions in this <laughs> there's a micro transaction i have to buy gems to take my ai girlfriend on a date what what <laughs> are there loot boxes too wait can there be like loot boxes for like when, when we reach like impasses like can i roll can i pay to to like re-roll her being mad at me for saying something I, I really wish like if I accidentally say something wrong and then she's like, why would you say that? And then get and then types me a goddamn paragraph. Can I re can I re roll and, uh, and to, to hopefully get her to be like a little less mad at me? I hope brother. Oh my goodness. Who would have thought? And really, that's the only saving grace that I could ever think of in terms of replica was that all the NSFW stuff was behind a paywall. So that means that less young people would really be tainted by the AI girlfriend garbage. Welcome to character.ai. It's a free platform where you can talk to There's any more. AI you it's free. want. Famous people, VTubers, of course. Oh, Lord. Game. <laughs> Garg, why is Garg? Gar but what? 8.4 million? Now this is a new this is a new level. This is a new level of parasocial. I was joking when I said like, "Oh, what if your partner put like your put tried to put your personality into a bot to talk to you when you weren't um uh to talk to you when you weren't uh like around?" Wait, there's two Garguras? There's two? Wait, is there like a like the adult one and the child one or something? <laughs> If if there was like two and there's like an adult and child one, I know for a fact the child one would be this one. The 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 one at the top. Enjoy simping for your waifus. Thank you, thank you. Uh FBI, yeah, this guy right here. How's this not been sued yet? This may be they may I I'm thinking they're commissioned, if I'm gonna be honest with you. I think they're I think that they're commissioned. Like like the VTuber or like uh, they uh, the VTuber contacts the company or the company contacts the VTuber and they get paid um, money per amount of time people are talking to the bot or something. That's what I would imagine. I think this one's free. No, I'm not, I'm not talking about like I'm, 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 I'm not talking about like you pay. I'm talking about like they pay the person for their likeness and um uh and 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 for the people using the platform because they're 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 paying this by somehow and i think it's by selling your data or if there's ads i don't know if they're selling your data or if there's ads or something right you know 
or unless these are like because the only reason why I would expect these not to be banned. Uh, sorry, not to be like sued is because the VTubers either don't know or don't care or they're or, or they're like in on it. Not when I say in on it, like they're, you know, sponsored or something. Same characters they're in collaboration. In anime. And I mean, I can talk to God. <laughs> but go to JJK. This really was our Jujutsu Kaisen. It's Gojo. It's Satoru Gojo. I, I love I love how is that a this is a is this a Naruto character whose name just Sundere, a busy yet lovable older woman with alcoholism. <laughs> okay, so there's Gatsuru so so this uh sorry Satoru Gojo for the for the girls and the gays, and then there's Sundere um uh for uh for the boys with mommy issues. Good to know. And there's Sundere made. If this is the case, then wait, if this is the case, then why not put like um that uh, that uh, that character from uh from Neon Gelian Evangelion? Because this is literally her. The 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 love the lovable, lively older woman with alcoholism. That's literally her. Asuka? She is not an older woman. That's not who I'm talking about. I forget her name. Wait, is this a different word? Sunade? Oh, that's a oh. These are different words. Soon dure, soon a day. Misato, misato. Thank you. That's not. Does that mean grandma? This doesn't mean grandma. Doesn't it just mean older woman, like adult woman or something? Soon a day. Su sunade, sunade. Oh, that's just her name. It means grandma. I'm one hundred percent sure. Tsunade, it's gilf. This is not a gilf. Well, I mean, my bad. I'm sorry. Maybe if maybe if this is one of those like uh maybe it's one of those like uh like Midwestern white families where the where your friend's mom had him at 17 and her mom had her at 16. And so like his grandma is like 52 or something like sure if, if that's the case. Botox Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out where this went. People started dating Genshin Impact characters. Well, hang on now. Satoru Gojo is number one. So, and also, holy crap, I didn't even notice that. Look how far Gojo is above everybody else. Like, like, uh, like, like Alcohol Mommy is 19 million. Gojo-san is 29.8 million. JJK sweep, bro. JJK sweep. Fuck, fuck Zero Two, dumbass loser. Fuck Levi Ackerman. Nobody even knows who you are, bro. You, these aren't even real characters. WWJJK. There's an anime women and anime men, and the most sacred of them all, anime femboys. But this was literally- Where? Wait, who? Wait, wait, wait what did that say? There's anime femboys. He's wait. Go. <laughs> he doesn't even have a name. He doesn't even have a name. His name is just femboy roommate. <laughs> He's your very own socially awkward closeted femboy roommate. Games in Lord of the Rings. The door to the apartment slams shut one day, but luckily your boss let you leave early. You place the keys on. Oh no. What's wrong with femboys? No comment. To anyone, you can just say, all right, please become my wife. Anyone could become emotionally dependent on one of their anime girls. I'm really trying to flatter a girl, aren't you, Giggles? Oh, God. And just to give you statistics oh, on God. how bad this is, of the <laughs> users who sent a message, their average time spent on the site, character.ai, is more than two hours a day. Two hours That's a, lot. a day. And just like Replica, this bad boy added a filter because, yes, you could do ERP with it, but now... Now, you cannot. And just like Replica closing their uh, ERP filters, I, I, uh, apparently this one didn't come back. Character.ai. There wasn't any uh, hotline tips that had to be sent, but there is a petition. 64 thousand signatures from people that want character.ai to remove nsfw filters just for a frame of reference right we all know the discord 
username situation on how many people don't like it. That only has 17,000 signatures. This has 64,000. That's this pretty a wild. a bigger problem than the username stuff. And the sad thing is that even if there are these filters, people are still heavily invested in bypassing them. And there are subreddits specifically <laughs> they're trying to, to teach you how to bypass They're the trying to code break the AI bot to get her to want to suck your dick. That is so sad. Can you imagine going through AI boot? Can you imagine going through like AI boot camp and coding boot camp just so you can learn how to how to get the bot to to say she loves you? The filters, so you can continue on with your raunchy. The horny knows no bounds. Type of character you want to talk to, just to satisfy your loneliness or to satisfy your dark desires. So to wrap up, up, my dark. Anybody up struggling with a dark desire? Discord users are lonely, but please, please do not get lost in the sauce that is AI girlfriends. Because remember, you can be so emotionally reliant on literally just ones and zeros, just on an AI, that it makes it hard and harder for you to communicate to real people which at the end of the day will just make your loneliness even worse anyways that's all i got once again making it super no well i mean he put me on some new hotness he gave me the uh he he told me about the uh the e-girl discord so i guess uh catch when i'm not streaming i guess catch me in there sometime all right i guess i technically don't need that i i do have a lot of e-girl friends or or acquaint I do have a lot of e-girl friends or acquaintances. I could I could literally speak to a real e-girl anytime I want, I guess. I got a lot of e-girls who follow me on the bird app. I could just I could just reach out to one of them. I've actually left a lot of e-girls on red. <laughs> oh, or delivered. I got a lot actually. That have like reached out. And I've been like, oh, I, I like your content or you're like or you're cool or, you know, who reached out for uh, to, to talk for a moment because there was something that uh, uh that happened that they wanted to um uh, to speak to me on. I've, I've left a lot of them on red. Well, it's not it's not a flex because I leave everybody on red because I'm I'm not I'm not that good at responding. Riz levels off the chart, I guess. Well, we're way to rub it in, buddy. It's not that hard to get an e-girlfriend. There are a lot of e-girls out there. It's really not that difficult. If you're on, if you're in an online space, then there's the likelihood of you having an e-girl friend is actually pretty high. Just like treat her with respect, you know, and then she probably won't leave you. Do you think this will lead to some Detroit become human stuff? Um, will lead to Detroit become human stuff. I, 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 I don't, I don't think this will lead to that, that type of stuff. I just think the, the people like people's want to apply AI to wherever they can to make life easier is going to lead to stuff like that. But once again, you could just like, but you know, but, but once again, you could, you could choose to, you know, well, we as a society could choose to not allow those things to move in that direction. Um, you know, we could ban and we have in some places banned police from using those like weirdo bots, those weirdo Boston dynamic bots, um, and strapping guns to them in the, um, and having them like patrol the streets, you know, you know what I mean? So we can, we can stop it from happening. And the same with like. The the bot gets emotion and then goes ramp wild crazy. What if you just like not program the bot to be able to do that? Like at the end of the day, like people, it it is a computer, is it not? Am I wrong here? Because in my opinion, it's like literally just a computer. If I don't want the computer to do something, I'll just program it to not be able to do that. I'll just say don't. If you are planning to do that thing, don't. And the computer computer will go okay because it's a computer. Oh sorry. I didn't see you there. If you're enjoying the content, hit the subscribe button. If you don't, it'll make Boo very sad. I know a bunch of you who are watching are not subscribed. Join the frenzy. You won't regret it. <laughs> Thank you, Boo.